The violin's so nice. weird pairing of events <laughs> what's up you guys so today we have spring wish list video with megs pretty much cool. what she's feeling recently at essence i guess you guys always like to see what we're we're shopping for these days i'm i haven't really been shopping for too much things end up coming into the to the sniper hairs but today it's more geared towards megs i guess what you, what's on the what's on the menu for today? Tell us, Miss Focaccia, Focaccia later. Besides um, the focaccia, what's on the menu? There's some really nice like shapewear that I've been eyeing for a long time, and then I've always wanted to try those like Balenciaga uh, toed heels. I don't know if I'd actually get them though, but that's basically it for now. You have the one with the sp with the actual heel, not the spring, right? <laughs> I'm like I'm just trying to eat my spinach mushroom. Gotcha and peace. Um, yeah, the, the actual heel, heel, not the spring. But I like the spring ones too. It's just, I don't even think they have them on Essence. Yeah, they didn't get every single one. Like the Balenciaga shipments have been kind of like delayed. I don't know, a lot of stuff is delayed right now, but we're kind of like uh, having a little residency right here at, at Essence. The past week we've just been here, feels like, because we went and did the Jarrell's thing. I edited that vlog, that one's out already. And now we have this, a little wish list video. All the links of everything will be in the description. So if you're a man, then I have stuff in there for you. If you're a gal, I'll have some of the stuff that Megs is interested in as well. So there you go. We're gonna go in here, show you the vibes. We'll shoot out for great dance now. Ooh, that'll be fun. Yeah, I'm done. Is it still rolling? It's still rolling. I almost got hit by a car the other day. Tell them the story. Not much to it. I um, thought it wasn't going to keep going because it had kind of slowed down. And so I went for it and they went for it at the same time. And then when he slammed on the brakes, I don't even think he honked. But he wasn't upset. He was more like we were kind of both in shock. I don't know. It was probably my fault. I mean, Kyron says it's my fault. But I did look both ways and I knew he was coming. I just thought he was going to stop. I think if you don't cross at the actual crosswalk, you're asking for trouble. It was a meter away from the crosswalk. That's fair. That's pretty fair. So we're here on this little cul-de-sac. We're gonna film Meg's outfit right now. Yeah. So today I'm wearing arc little beanie. When I left the house, I felt like a fucking meme because I was also wearing the gloves. I just kind of look like a. You look like can can right now. I don't know. It's very intense. Um. Okay, the rest of the outfit. The rest of the outfit is basically Lulu. So like cost vibes. And I'm wearing a cropped Lululemon sweater that I love. Maybe you'll see it more later. I'm not going to take my jacket off. And then these Lululemon like studio pants that are ruched. I decided to like flip them in today because I didn't want them to get like wet and gross, but like they look really nice when they're like puddling out onto the shoe. And then just some Ramones. And that's that. All right, so bot bottoms up. Everyone asks about these boots, okay? So I think they're called for Unknown Project. I don't know, I'd have to, I'll let you guys know in the description, but it was a little project I did. I just added like the classic Vibram to the bottom because they were just normally like like a SLP type of vibe so they uh, they make remakes of old Eddie Slimane silhouettes for a very affordable price and I didn't really like how slender it was so I wanted something a bit more chunky more like kind of Gweedy-esque so it's like that for like a fraction of the price so I like them they're like my main combat boots uh, besides the Ore ones the Ore ones are a bit more chunky good for like the winter uh, these are some path pants, post archive faction. Really nice details. They have like this like split right here, which is really dope. 
Um, this is a vintage leather jacket that I got in the thrift. And very cheap, very re reasonably priced. This is a Balenciaga bag I got from Farfetch. I haven't talked to you guys about this yet, but it'll be in a pickups video very soon, either before or after this. I don't know what order I'm gonna release the video, but very practical. I need a bag when it comes to summertime and spring, so it's very practical for me. I can keep my camera in there, my headphones, whatever, other daily essentials. Um, and then below I have a Spencer Badu hoodie and then some Chrome Hearts frames that I haven't showed you guys yet either, but I'll talk to you guys about that in a pickups video soon. This is a grimy MTL hat, little beanie. It's just released. Shout out to Thomas, who blessed me with that. And I think that's it, right? Oh, and the uh, Apple headphones. Very Kanye of me. But yeah. Chrome Ooh. ring. Bow. We're very meme -y today, a little bit. Like, I'm very, like, Kanye boy. She's very, like, Can Can. I listen to Can Can. Okay, uh, to be fair, I don't know who Can Can is, so. <laughs> or Yeet. There you go. Yeah, you it's listen to Yeet. Very. Wet and cold today, though. Okay, so, so let's get inside. Let's no, I just mean like, guys, it makes sense. It's the climate, it's the right climate for it. More in the front. Yeah. I feel like it really like helps the leather bag with. Cold. I mean the leather jacket. With cold. Like it breaks it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, walk. I like this like half body look too with the leather. Yeah. Like, actually, keep holding. Yeah. yeah. Really nice. They're kind of like dark, but it suits the background, so it's like dramatic. I like it. Lean in a bit more. Cool. Yeah. All right. Off we go. Um. Yeah. Here's your mask. Thanks. Do you think I got the picture? The picture? Yeah, for me. Like the one. Yeah, one second. Look at this guy. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Show me. From the side. No, I like it. I don't think they're too baggy. I find it's like the, if anything, very similar to the Louis. No. Yeah. Yeah. I like it a lot. I think they're cool. I like the slippers the most. These are great though. I wish I had gone. There was like a beige and a orange pair. I remember. They had good colors of them at one point. Yeah. Like very, very good the colors. The white and orange. And I gray. said beige and orange. Yeah. Th I have to see them in front of me. Here, use this. Oh my god, no. Sorry, no, that's not a good angle. Is what I mean. <laughs> no, it's like. Thanks for the picture. Yeah. Do they come in smaller sizes? I mean, they have different styles of frames. Like, they fit you perfectly. They fit me almost perfectly, but I find they're a bit big on the side. Mm. The smallest have the right size, and mm -hmm. I like the way it feels and fits. Yeah. But like they stop the chest here. Like okay. you're like yeah. so it doesn't have weird fact that the boots are supposed to be like here. It still adds like, oh, okay, because like that's where it, that's the what, under, that's right? Like it's supposed to be like a boob, right? Like, I don't know. What if you tried the size of? Uh, the size of, but also like... Oh yeah, it was the medium. Would, it would be too big. Yeah. I think I, I would like the dots more. How do you feel about this one though? It's cool. it's cool. I, I like it. I'm it's just cool. trying to think of how often I can wear it. Yeah. It's nice. It, it feels like it's made well too. Yeah. These are dark. <laughs> I feel like it's just like a white long sleeve, 
yeah. but then it has to be the right shoes. Oh yeah, you can and like go, a good bag. Yeah, you can go like simple with the shoes, simple with the top, mm -hmm. like a nice bag. They fit really well though. Yeah. Yeah. Like they fit very similar They're to very the Valenci nice that uh, Jacob is wearing. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. But yeah, they all like looked good together. I was impressed. Yeah. So much nice stuff. Yeah, that would be sick. I'm gonna try and picture it going up though. Do you think there's something kind of like swimsuitish about it? Like it makes me feel like a swimmer. I think it's. I think it's really cool. Honestly. I like the skirt more than I thought I would. Me too. I agree. And I like when the shirt's pulled down. I feel like that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. So how would you say your experience was with Wolf Team? <laughs> was it a, a failed attempt, a successful attempt? What no. are you liking? What are you not liking? Lots of nice stuff. Yeah, I liked a lot of this stuff, but have to think about it. I really like those Balenci glasses probably the most. I don't think I should those to them, but I'll pop them on the screen or something. But um, that's predictable. I feel like I have a lot of black glasses. Okay. So then, I'm trying to like um, control myself. And like Balenci glasses suit her face very well. Because I find like, yeah. how, how would you describe your face in relation to Balenciaga glasses? Okay, so I have an issue with glasses in general where I have a really like wide upper nose bridge, which makes it hard for glasses to like sit in the right spot and like not fall down or like they sit too high and it's uncomfortable. So in general, I really find like 99% of glasses really just don't suit my face, which I accepted. But then Balenciaga has all these nice glasses that suit my face. So I'm like, whoa, 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 what is this? So it's yeah, a switch of pace. it's like my it's like my um, my Achilles heel now. Yeah, definitely. So the Balenciaga frames and would you give like a those, top three? Yeah, top three the three. really colorful denim pants. Those are just sick to me, and I really like that brand. I don't know if it's Do you a remember new the brand name. Marquise Almeida is how I think you pronounce it, but I really don't know. Yeah. Um, I I just recently discovered that brand, so I really like their stuff. And then the other thing would be oh yeah the. Sinead Gory, the UK label, like the tight shapewear. That stuff's really sick. Um, I just don't know how wearable it is. And like, it is pretty pricey for what it is. So yeah, not sure about that. I would say my, I don't have a top three, but my favorite two was like, there's this uh, Visvum bucket hat that is insane. Makes me feel like a, a Japanese uncle that fishes on Sunday and catches some crazy mackerel and, and whatnot. But it makes me very like artisanal. I feel like a very like, I feel very elevated when I wear stuff like that because people wouldn't have the confidence to really pull it off. But I don't know, those like really over the top hats somehow work with my hair. And like if I have it twisted or untwisted, it just works out. And then those pusher pants by Rick are like really cool. Like I've been wanting those since the first time they dropped, but never got around to using them. When I mean, they buying them. Drop? They dropped. Maybe like spring, spring, summer 19, yeah, I want to think. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Like two years ago? Yeah, like two years ago, I want to say. I remember Kyle was the first person I knew with them in IRL, okay. pretty much. But like, he's a shorter fellow, so you have to get them <laughs> tailored. But they still look nice. Like, they don't lose their, their shape at all, even if you tailor them. So that's why I was telling you, you could 
possibly yeah. do that but i like those too i just don't like usually when i want a rick piece i like see it so many months before and then i have like time to think about whether it's like practical in my wardrobe mm -hmm. and those i did see a few months ago and i tried to find them and like they were like impossible to find especially for women's sizes yeah. so a part of me has wanted them for a while but i don't like buying rick without really like thinking about it yeah. i don't know yeah no it, it is like a big thing to think about i would say I don't know. There's a lot of stuff in there that's like when there's too many good things, it's a, it's a bad thing yeah. for our bank account. But also it's a bad thing like just with like um, buyer's remorse and like True. thinking about it because like usually there's one thing that really stands out but if there's something that stands out then you think well maybe I shouldn't buy anything at all. Like, yeah. But also I'm just really like <laughs> every time I go to Essence I'm like tired and hungry which is like the worst combo when shopping. So I usually have to like tap out after trying half the stuff on. <laughs> We're gonna go eat. Yeah, we're gonna go to Mano Cornudo, which is like one of our favorite restaurants. And if you guys didn't know, I don't plug this enough. I feel like I haven't plugged this enough for the YouTube channel. And you guys might not even know, but I started Patreon, which is membership for the channel. And if you guys wanna support the channel, I have a bunch of behind the scenes content on there. There's also lists to restaurants that Megs and I frequent, which is like one of them is Mano Cornudo, but there's a whole bunch of other ones that we've tried out in the city that we really enjoy. So that's all in one place for you because I get probably within the month at least 10 DMs of where they should go in Montreal when they come to shop to eat. So that's one place where you could get it all. It has links, it has everything. It has behind the scenes videos of how to become a stylist, a content creator, entrepreneur. So I'm really trying to dive into that space and give you guys some more content that's valuable, you know? Months. But it's crazy how our style has changed so much in like the span of a year. If you really yeah. think about it too. Because I, I look back at what I was wearing a year ago and I'm like, damn. Like it, it does change incrementally. You yeah. think it doesn't, but it really does somehow. Like how would you say your style was a year ago compared to how it is right now? Uh, I think like I started buying more into like this more like techy, darker aesthetic that I've always liked. But then also, I feel like I'm a little bit less afraid to like get really funky again because for a while there I was going more neutral, which is not really true to myself, but I feel like I was so overwhelmed with like all the phases I'd been through and like all the random stuff in my wardrobe that I was like, I need to stop buying so many statement pieces. So I just went super like- You like want to play it safe. Like black dress, like yeah. nice sweatsuit, like stuff like that but now I feel like I'm ready to like start branching out again mm -hmm. so yeah that's kind of how I feel yeah. I feel like after you lock in all of this like the staples in your wardrobe that's when you start getting back into the funky to make it like so that you actually have a distinctive style because if you just dress in all black all day like I mean not just all black all day but like with safe, secure items like wide pants, a basic top. Of course, that looks great all the time, but it's like, you're just playing it safe. It's like, I, I don't like know. Too, it's like difficult because it really depends what you're doing in life. Like last year, like a year ago, I was working in retail where it was like a super casual environment and I wanted like a lot of casual clothes. Now I work in nightlife at the club and like I want to buy a lot of like clubbing clothes and like athletic work because I'm more into like working out and like doing stuff like that now. So I feel like, it, like now I buy more Lululemon and then I buy more like like going out close too. So yeah. I feel like that has a huge influence. Yeah, so, so it's like more situational based you would yeah, say. Yeah, for me. Yeah. But for you? I mean, it's been like that for me too. I would say like I, I find I buy a lot more based into like situations in general. Like if you, you bought this because in case it rains, we're going to throw on our turks, you know what I mean? Or I don't know, like I would get Salomon's if I know it's gonna be like kind of cold but not really cold but like icky weather like this like with salt on the ground and stuff like that I don't know yeah that's kind of how I would base my stuff in like a week though it's gonna start being beautiful all the time yeah, yeah. it's already looking really nice like even I this love, part of the like, city because in the winter I feel like I get to choose between three different boots in the summer I get to choose between like 40 sneakers and like that's so, true so much better outfit yeah no, sne sneaker weather is so much fun. I miss sneaker weather like dearly. It's so icky right now, but I'm gonna catch you at Mano. I feel like we've talked your ears off enough to show you what we order. That's about it.
like a sarcastic, that nigga did do it, but shit, I'm like, like a stool. Like a nigga stole it, bitch, wanna give me that top, that bitch, wanna give me that whole way up. Belly, that bitch, she sit in my slime. I'm gonna call my Asian mother, look like Luke. I'm gonna call her Johnny, then they go get that ride. I chop up that pot, then they make it with sage. I feel like I'm with her, but I'm in the pain. I got two clocks, bitch, I'm like a hug. And the little bitch, pussy, get that bitch, she's fine. I'm fucking that bitch, watch, watch, I ain't down. That pussy, that nigga need to maintain. That nigga, he white, try to gain. That nigga, not pussy, nigga, not a gang. This bitch, they are, bitch, you got range. Pull up in the SSC, they say, bitch, if I die, bitch, I'm gonna go with that bang. Your bitch, a hoe, bitch, she giving that top. That bitch, a bubble, bitch, she get him a lane. Your bitch, hop up in the car, she wanna sell my dick, and that bitch, she really want the fame. All of these niggas, they talking that shit, and my niggas in the head, pull it with pistol. Nigga, you on the lane, nigga, talking that shit, like pussy, nigga, what's the issue? Bitch, we gonna pull up on you, look like the cutie, nigga, yeah, they not gonna miss you. Yeah, that bitch, she sit in my slime. I'm gonna call my Asian brother, look like Luke. I'm gonna call her Johnny, then they go get that ride. I chop up that body, that nigga, with sage. I feel like I'm a tumble, I'm in the pain. I got two clocks, bitch, I'm like a hug, and the little bitch, pussy, yeah, that bitch, she's fine. I'm fucking that bitch, watch, watch, I ain't down. That pussy, that nigga, need the main time. That nigga, he white, try to gain. That nigga, not pussy, nigga, not a gang. This bitch, they are, bitch, you got rain. Yeah. <laughs> 